Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Aaron, and I am snowboarding today. So TPO Tuesday is looking a little bit different. So I decided that the weather is so beautiful. I'm going to go snowboarding. I hope that all of you are getting a chance to go out and do something fun like this. I'm also going to be talking about charts. So today's video, I'm going to be able to bring, of course, Bitcoin and Ethereum. We're also going to be looking at, I think, four or five other charts that you guys have requested. So it's not the same beautiful studio backdrop, honestly. This is so much better. Uh, for those that are curious, I'm at Gara Yuzawa in Japan. It's, uh, it's fantastic. It's actually a really nice day today. So let's get to the charts. That's me doing a test. It's not fun. So Bitcoin is raging. Um, honestly, it's impressive, to say the least. Uh, it was actually uh, this. I totally missed this out. Or I totally missed this happening on the chart. When we were doing the sideways price action, I was thinking, okay, well, we're going to touch the, the TBO fast line right there, and then we'll bounce up higher. I totally missed the fact that this is actually a bull flag. A bull flag doesn't have to necessarily go up and then do some sort of like downward price action like this before breaking out to the upside. It doesn't have to do something like that. This is still actually a bull flag. The price goes up. And then it breaks out and then it keeps going up higher. Um, just if, if you didn't, if you didn't already know this, shorting this market is the dumbest thing you could possibly do right now. I don't care what anyone says. When you pay attention to what's going on, when you pay attention to all of the craze and you look at the TBO, the trending breakout indicator, it's been bullish, and I've been saying this for months. Nothing's changed. The moment we're talking about, well, the market's going to have a major pullback. It could, and it should. It's healthy. Pullbacks are healthy. But that does not diminish the fact that the market is extremely bullish. Here, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you exactly why. So we're going to get rid of that box. My hands are getting cold. <laughs> there we go. The reason why we are not bullish, sorry, we are not bearish whatsoever is because this line on the bottom, this is the TBO slow line. See how this is pointing up. That is the slowest moving average of the TBO, hence the slow line, okay? Because it's been so bullish for such a long time, it started curling up right here. That's November, mid-November. This is when we started to really get heavy into some positions. Yes, there were pullbacks. Was Bitcoin going straight up, up in a straight line? No. There was pullbacks, then it shot up. There's a pullback right here. In December, it goes sideways, 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 sideways. It even fell into the cloud, which was a sign of bearishness. We talked about this in previous videos. But breaking above, and like I told you two weeks ago, when there is a TBO breakout, on the daily time frame, you must pay attention to that. I don't care how long this takes. I don't care. Because it's going to take some time anyway. It's going to... It, this is a sign of a healthy move, okay? I'm just trying to make this super duper obvious for you. Now, the weekly time frame looks amazing. Look what we have here. We literally have a TBO breakout cluster on the weekly time frame. That is insane. It's insane because this has only happened a couple of times. I, I don't think the signal is fast or good enough to do this. The last time we saw this, and this is totally breaking everything, every estimation that I expected for this market. The last time this happened, November 2020. The reason why that's such a big deal is because what happened after that? The price of Bitcoin shot up from here like 200, 300%. What should be happening right now is we should be having a pullback before the halving. Sorry for the announcements. Hopefully you can hear me okay. We should be having a pullback for the halving. But because we are not, because things are crazy bullish, it is so... I don't think that's going to stop, guys. I, I think I actually have to revise 
Um, I've been telling people in our Better Traders memberships that I think that this market is more similar to the 2016 bull market rally instead of the 2020 rally because we have widespread adoption coming. We have spot ETFs. They're buying Bitcoin, billions of dollars of Bitcoin every single day. It's crazy. Boom, my fingers are getting cold. I have to move on. So that's BTC in a nutshell. It's crazy bullish. Do not listen to anyone who tells you otherwise. They're trying to sell you something that's not worth buying. All right. <laughs> Ethereum is also looking great. On the daily time frame, we're actually going to change the TBO speed to fast because we are going to see a TBO breakout cluster here. I switch it to fast because it changes how the cloud reacts. And I wanted to see this right here, this close short, because then we got an open long. Sorry, not close short, open short, and then open long resets it. There's our breakout. We're still holding, or rather, I'm still holding a, an Ethereum long position from about 26, I think, $2,600. Sorry. Yeah, $2,600. So I'm doing good. I'm actually looking to take profit right around here at $3,300 just because of a Fibonacci retracement. But it's looking great. On the weekly time frame, it's looking great. Don't listen to people who are saying otherwise. There's also an Ethereum spot ETF in the works too, right? So if Bitcoin moved up 72% and Ethereum just does half of that, half of that, it's going up to $4,000. So don't listen to anyone who's saying like, oh, no, there's going to be a major pullback. Things are terrible. I have a hard time believing that when I see the TBO cloud looking so bullish and all things are doing up and to the right. All right. So I want to share. <laughs> My hands are freezing. I need to go quick. <laughs> so these are charts that you have requested. If you have a chart you would love for me to look at, please Leave a comment down below. You can leave it on X. You can leave it on Instagram, on Discord, on YouTube, on TikTok, whatever is fine. Uh, and I will consider adding your charts. So the first one is SNX. So SNX is looking really good to me. I'm actually going to change this back to standard. Because on the four hour time frame, we're looking really good. We got our TBO breakouts right here. What we're waiting for is a third one. It would be better to have a touch back to the TBO fast line right there, but we might not see. It. I don't know. It just depends. But we're seeing this set up all over the place. For the daily time frame, it's starting to look really good. Uh, this sideways chop isn't great, but there's nothing wrong with the chart so far. Note, there's nothing wrong with the chart so far because the slow line looks amazing. It looks fantastic. Okay. So. Don't don't be freaked out by this. Now, it does have resistance right here at about 4.39 or about 4.4 because the TBO resistance line right there is showing us that that's resistance. Plus, we have a Fibonacci retracement, which is showing us resistance at 4.44. All right. You can almost not feel my fingers. This is bad. Okay. I thought this idea would be great. And uh, whew, it's cold. <laughs> it's better with the gloves on. Near has just hit resistance on the TBO, uh, resistance TBO, sorry, the resistance line on the TBO at $4. Interesting. It's almost like SNX. On the four-hour time frame, this thing is ripping and dipping. This is a great chart to be trading. Note, where does it rip to? It goes up to previous historical resistance lines, and then it pulls back to the fast line. If you're using the TBO, the fast line is your best entry point right now. It's this thing I'm calling the TBO springboard method, and it's working really well, especially on faster time frames. But this chart near is looking better. Um, on the weekly time frame, it's starting to warm up. Still inside of the TBO cloud, which isn't a good sign. But the daily is looking pretty good. All right, IMX. This is a chart that I wanted to share because this is a perfect example. So we have... Sorry for all the wind and stuff. Maybe you can't hear it. I don't know. It's windy and cold. So my, my fingers are freezing. My digits are freezing. So we got a TBO breakout cluster in the daily time frame. And look right there. See that? I'm actually going to zoom in so you can see it. This is what we're looking for. When we have a breakout cluster like this, we want to wait for this right here. This is the perfect entry. Oops, wrong thing. 
right there is the perfect entry. We want to enter around the TBO fast line. Why? Because it's just a nice pullback and it gives us a much better entry instead of chasing. You're seeing this all over the place. On Tau, almost the same thing. We have a TPO breakout cluster right there on the daily time frame. It takes about two weeks, but look what happened. We have a TBO fast line retracement, which is great. So now Tau should be able to push a lot higher. We also have a line of resistance right, right there. So once the price probably does a little bit of this bounce, and then it'll probably go up a lot higher. It's just that kind of market where we can see those things and expect those things to happen. Last up, we got Mantle, MNT. I talked about this a couple of weeks ago. Note that it is going crazy. Two days ago, 13%. Yesterday, 4%. We have two TBO breakouts on the daily time frame. This is crazy. Best of all, look at the TBO, uh, sorry, the TBO slow line right here. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. This chart is looking crazy bullish. So, it, because it's super duper overbought right now, though, it needs a pullback. But it's still, if you're going to look for a pullback, four hour time frame all the way, because we want to find an entry on the TBO fast line, wherever that might be. So, one of the best things that you can do if you're trying to find that entry is you're going to go to your alerts. And oh, sorry, I need to go here to alerts. And I want to, here we go. When MT is crossing the TBO fast line, once per bar, or actually once per minute would be even better. But we don't want it to wait till the bar close. It's going to be too late. We want it to happen once per minute or once per bar. If you want to be alerted a lot, do that. There you go. And set your notifications up. So if you want to push notifications and email, all that stuff, or send yourself a message uh, using webhook URL, it's a, that's one of the easiest ways to do it. So that way you get notified when the price goes down. Or you could use a signal bot on all trading or a DCA bot on three commas to automate that. So that when this condition is met, it sends an alert to three commas or to all trading. And then you jump into the trade automatically, which is great. So these are the what seven charts that I wanted to share with you today. If you want more TBO goodness, join my public Discord server. I post TBO charts about four days a week today. I'll post one later tonight, or rather for me, when I'm riding the train home, riding the Shinkansen home, which is really fun. Um, but there's tons of stuff. Learning how to use the TBO indicator is worth your time, just like RSI, just like the Ichimoku Cloud, just like MACD, just like all these other indicators. Learning the TBO takes some time. But when you're learning from someone who's been using it since about 2018, 2019, been using this thing for over five years, you just see patterns. You see things that happen over and over and over again. It's fantastic. It's the best indicator I've ever used. I cannot recommend it enough. So you can get access to it at thebettertraders.com forward slash TBO, or you can get that plus a bunch of other stuff, signals, other indicators, strategies, a DCA back tester strategy for trading view for your all tradey, three commas, Pinex bots, all that stuff with the Better Traders memberships. So all the links and stuff like that should be in the description of the video below. I literally cannot hold my phone anymore with bare hands out here. Yes, bare hands because it is freezing, but I'll give you one last look. It's so beautiful today. Such good conditions. So until the next time, you know what to do. Stay awesome and stay in the green. Peace.